Hello everyone, my name is Khan and welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to learn about what is a sweep entry model and how it works and we can take entry in a higher time frame to lower time frame and what is the main trigger sweep entry module. So in this video, I will teach you everything step by step, very straightforward thing. Firstly, you don't need to follow the other thing like structure and embedded out of block and out of flow, nothing. Simply, you need to follow very simple structure if market move is a bullish, it doesn't matter. When market taken out the previous higher low and create any lower time frame confirmation, so we can buy ourselves. And this is a very simple and easiest entry module, smart money concept. And one more thing I want to mention here, if market momentum is a bullish and bearish, doesn't matter. And one more thing is here that if you are trading forex, crypto, stock, nifty, bank, nifty, any other currency bear, any other market, it's working all time frame and everywhere, right? So right now we are using Aussie USD chart and, and this time I'm using 4 hour and 15 minute combination because a lot of members request me to analyze on 4 hour as a higher time frame and 15 minute a lower time frame because everybody is not available to trade or day trading, someone trading for few hours and someone trading for a few days so it totally depends on you that which time frame is suitable for you this time i'm using four hour and 15 minute as a lower time frame basically as a day trading perspective you can use 15 minute as a higher time frame and two minute and one minute as a lower time frame and if you are looking for more aggressive entry then you can use five minute as a higher time frame and one minute for the end so this sweep entry module working in all time frame and every market so let's get started in this case we can see here how price is a react we can see market going upside and downside and creating higher high and sometime market push downside and creating lower lows so this move happening between the high and low but technically, if you are marking the structure, so where is our structure? Look at this. One. This is our previous high, which was broken here. And this will create a new break of structure because market looking right. So if market momentum is a bullish and creating higher high, that means market is a bullish and you can buy after taking out the inducement, right? And this point become our new inducement is here. So once market taken out the inducement, generally we are looking for the buy. And this is happening. Our new higher high is here. And where is inducement? Inducement is point right here. So once market taken out the inducement, generally we are looking for to the upside. And also, if fail that inducement, then we're looking for the buy steam, auto flow, and PY. So if you are marking the structure, as per the structure, how many entries are possible here? First entry is here. If market taken out the inducement, so we can plan for the buy at this point in a first time. Because after taking out the inducement, we are looking for the buy to the upside. And the next entry is here after break the structure again what are you after taking out the inducement we can also buy here in a first attempt because market taken out the inducement so we can plan for the buy if market fail this one so we are looking for the buy on extreme py so where is our extreme this one because this one is our unmitigated side always taken out the liquidity is here that means we can plan for the buy to the upside so basically we have a two py is here first one is here and second one and this one is our third so basically you can say three py is here for the buy to the upside in a first one you can see here you will get a stop loss maybe and maybe break even okay and the next two trade is here in this case you can get take profit maybe stop loss and maybe break even it depends on lower time frame okay but right now we can say we have a three py if you are following the structure which is absolutely correct but in this video i'm going to teach you about the sweep and d module in a higher time frame and how we can utilize in a lower time frame. Look at this one. In this case, we can see if we are starting from top of this one, bottom of this move. So this is our first entry criteria when we are looking for the buy. After taking out the inducement, generally we are looking for the buy as per the structure confirmation. And second thing is here, if market sweep the any internal external high or low, then we can plan for the buy and sell. And it depends on your structure. Like if market momentum is a bullish and sweep the previous low, that means we can continuation move to the higher if market momentum is a bullish but sweep the previous high that means market can keep a short term move to the downside right so it totally depends on situation that how price is a reg. let me show you one by one all situation then you can understand that what i'm trying to explain here in this case we can see here this is our first area this is our previous low which is taken out here so once market taken out the previous low that means we can plan here for the buy to the upside because market sweep the previous low market momentum is a bullish and sweep this low so we can plan for the buy and same thing happening here the previous high is sweep here so when market sweep the previous high so generally we can expect that market looking for the move to the downside 
and again we can expect this is our previous high sweep here and it doesn't matter this is our internal and external in applicable for all time frame in all structure right so this is our previous high sweep and previous low sweep market pushing upside and what happened after this one this is our one more sweep here so once market sweep the previous high or low we need to switch in a lower time frame then we can plan for the buy and sell after lower time frame confirmation if market not able to create any kind of like lower time frame confirmation so we can't enter here and one more thing is here we can see again market sweep this structure here so once market sweep the structure that means looking for the reversal to the upside right again pushing higher high what happened here look at this one this is our previous low and this previous low is again sweep here and once market sweep here so we can also plan here and this is our one more previous high is here so this previous high is a sweep here so we can also expect that market looking for the downside move right here. again what happened here this is our internal previous low is sweep here and this one is also sweep here and this one is a so basically we can say here that if market sweep the previous higher low that means we can expect something a downside and upside move as per the lower time frame confirmation we can see how many times we can get entry if we are using higher time frame sweep entry mode here. and this one is our one more is a sweep here and this is a one more sweep is here so we can see only more than 10 opportunity are available here if we are using entry mode here. if there is any sweep by missing by me so you can also let's understand what is the logic behind to sweep this module here because if you don't know why this sweep here and how we can take entry here firstly you need to understand why this sweep here when market momentum is a bullish and bear is firstly you need to understand why sweep anti module is a work here and what is the reason to sweep the previous high low and why market not able to break the previous high and break the previous low and not closing the blow and above the structure okay let me show you exactly for example if market momentum is a bullish everyone looking for the buy on a pullback and then again going higher high right here and after that what happened here market break the pre not to go higher just sweep the previous high and then sometime market push downside and sometime market go higher so it depend on situation but how we can enter here we need to wait for it to taken out the previous high is here once market taken out the previous high so we are interested here at this point for me this is an interested area when we can expect something bullish momentum and same thing applicable here like if market sweep the previous low is here so we can also expect that market looking for the buy as per the lower time frame confirmation because when market break the previous high low that means market grab some liquidity means the stop loss and someone planning to buy here if market break the previous high so lot of buy order execute on a breakout and if anybody sell so lot of people are put the stop loss just above the high and just above the low so that's the reason to market sweep the previous high low and grab liquidity and then market push higher and lower and if market wants to collect more liquidity then sweep the multiple times previous low and high and then market push upside and push downside as per the structure now you can see here very clearly that how many times in a first time market sweep this one and again what happened market again sweep this one and sweep the previous high means market collecting both side liquidity and then market went up and down to mitigate something as per the higher time frame and then what happened after mitigation higher time frame py and then market went up so this is a very simple thing now let me show you exactly that how you can in a lower time frame as well as you need to understand if market taken out the previous high low means that you have to wait for it to break the previous high low once market sweep this one and candle close as a side o so you have to enter in a lower time frame confirmation you can buy or sell after chalk and flip and sweep entry module as well as let me show you one by one then you can understand that how things actually work here and how you can utilize here before switch on a lower time frame entry you need to understand on diagram then you can understand more better on live chart look at this one diagram first one which one is here what happened here this is our sweep in a higher time frame and this higher time frame can be over one hour four hour 15 minute and any time frame and maybe in a five minute time frame. so once market taken out the previous higher low and this can be your internal external anywhere and after that what happened here you need to switch in a lower time frame and this is our lower time frame structure okay and market sweep the previous low because market momentum was where is and taken out the previous low and after that you need to switch here in a lower time frame in a five minute time frame and 50 minute time frame it totally depend on you that which time frame you are using so this is our structure here and after that what happened market break this one and this is a called chalk and this chalk can be our like a 
flip anti module and this can be a chalk here so it totally depend on that market how market react here like market can create a chalk and can we create a flip anti module okay so once market break the previous high after break this previous high, you have to wait for it and remember one more thing is a in this case you have to wait for it candle closer not the switch okay this is important but while we are entering based on structure in that case we can use sweep and candle closer both are important okay both are valid for us but higher time frame sweep anti model you have to wait for it in a lower time frame candle closer then we can understand that market actually looking for the buy and sell this is a difference between the structure and the higher time frame sweep anti model okay so after create chalk means the previous high is broken and candle close of it that means market looking for some bullishness confirmation so we can plan here for the buy this point right here this is our last selling move before the buy this is our zone when we can expect some bullish confirmation right here and put the stop loss just below it and target as per the structure like the previous high low we can set here as a target and if you notice here that i did not take any kind of inducement here why if you are buying directly here then you have to put the stop loss just below it the below the structure here okay and second scenario is here in this case high time frame sweep here create chalk but in this case what happened here if market sweep this one so we can plan for the buy after taking out the inducement in this case market taken out the inducement and probably mitigate your unimediate order flow and order block and can be your py right so we can buy directly here if you are not interested here for the buy because sometime market create very larger stop loss in that case you can buy on after taking out the inducement and mitigate this zone right here and this is our py mitigation so we can plan for the buy here and target as per the structure and put the stop loss just below it but in a second scenario you can get sometime very good risk reward compared to the first one but in a first attempt you can see here in this case you don't need to wait for inducement simply you can buy after create chalk but price must be close of in a chalk confirmation right this is a difference between of both diagram let me show you on chart then you can understand more better here in this case we can see here this is our previous high which was sweep here and once market sweep the previous high simply you need to follow the structure this is our bullish structure right here and create one more pullback is here break this one and finally market break this one this is called chalk take a pullback and we can plan for the sell so this is a very simple thing is here look at this one let me zoom this part there you can understand this is our pullback is here a small pullback is here because the previous candle broke the previous candle low that means this become our chalk and after chalk we can plan for the sell right here on a pullback and where is stop loss just above the high and in this case you don't need to wait for an inducement if you would like to buy or sell after taking out the inducement you can okay but if you want to buy or sell without inducement then you need to put the stop loss just above the high and low right so this is our previous high and where is target the previous low which one is here right so this is our target and this is our entry and this is a very simple thing is here and again what happen here market again sweep the main low is here and after sweep the main low what are you looking here simply we are looking for the buy after create chop or market taken out the inducement okay so what happen here look at this structure very carefully this is our only one leg is happen here and after that create a small pullback again going higher high push down side right here and this is our internal structure sweep the liquidity and something like this and went up so now you can see here how price react here this is our previous low taken out close over it that means this is our entire zone when a we can mark as a py if you would like to buy here then where is our stop loss and target just know the main low look at this one this is our previous high is a broken here and where is inducement this low. because this low is a taken out the previous low it means the inducement taken out break the high and price close of it and once market push down side you can buy on this unmediated order block and order flow and buy here right and where is stop loss stop loss should be below it because this is our previous actual low when we can put your stop loss and where is target target the previous higher low it totally depend on structure where is our previous higher low we can set our target and one more thing here i want to mention here that market break the previous high this is our previous structure like this one in a first time market not break this one that means this point is not indication that market looking for continuation when market sweep the in a lower time frame so we are not interested for the buy and sell in a sweep because 
if market see this one that means market can push downside that's why we are not interested here for the buy once market close of it so we can plan for the buy that's why you have to wait for it price finally close of it so we can expect that market looking for the buy to upside now let's switch on next one and this is our one more diagram is here we can see market see the previous low is here in a higher time frame when market see the previous low you need to switch in a lower time frame as well as look at this one and mark very carefully right this is our structure take a small pullback is here market push downside again going higher high not able to push downside and finally market break the high that means market looking for the reversal to the upside after sweep the liquidity so if this thing happen here so what are you looking here simply we can expect that market in the reversal and after break the structure we can also buy on pullback and also we can buy immediately but i prefer to buy on pullback right so this is our area when we can expect that if market tap on it so we are interested here for the buy and put the stop loss just below it and this is our entry criteria here but market not mitigate this one remember if market mitigate this one so this entry become a valid entry for the buy right and this is our entry and this is a target here and target you can set as per your requirement and also you can set the previous higher low as per the structure so this is our previous structure here look at this one this is our single leg move right here take a pullback again push down side so this is internal so this is our actual structure right here okay so you can set the previous higher low as a target after that what happened here market win so when market sweep the previous high low right what happened here this is our previous high and close up so when market close over it so what are you looking here simply we can buy directly but you need to put the stop out just below it and second one is here after break the previous then you have to wait for it to take out the indie span and market close of it so we can buy so we have only two choice first one is here break this one and after break this where is this one but where is stop loss right because this one is the entry where is stop loss just this is a very large stop loss if as per your requirement this is our good risk reward for you like mean that this is a entry and target the previous high which one is here right if your system allowed to buy here which is almost one point, i think this is a not good idea here if I, at this point right here okay so you have to wait for it to take out the indies wine in this case then we can buy to the upside look at this one after this what happened here market taken out the indies span and once market taken out the indies span that means market looking for the bullish to the upside and market taken out the indies span went up and close of it so if price close of it so what we can do this is simply we can expect that market looking for the buy to the upside right here and put the stop loss just below it and target as per the plan and in this case you can get a stop loss right here which is absolutely a valid loss here but when market uh, sweep this one mean this a uh, previous highs are also sweep here means this first one you are looking for the buy not able to push higher but market created a sweep here so if market sweep in a higher time frame in a 4 hour time frame this is a 4 hour time frame sweep and after that what are you looking here market not going higher high and push down side that means this is our broken structure like first one is a broken that means market not able to go higher and market also sweep this entire zone we can expect some sell setup in a downside so what happen here price push down side we need to wait for it to now the investment which is taken out push down side this is taken out of the investment so this is our zone the last buying momentum before the sell so once press tap on it we are interested here for the sell like this one and why we are selling here because this one is a sweep that's why we are interested otherwise there is no reason to sell here okay and put the stop loss just above the high and where is target target as per the plan this is our target you can set here it totally depend on structure right so this is our entry criteria when we can buy and sell simply you need to wait for it once market sweep the previous higher time frame and then you need to switch in a lower time frame if you are buying directly in that case you don't need to wait for it in this one but you need to put the stop loss just above the high or low is taken out the liquidity means the inducement okay but if you are looking for the more additional confirmation then you have to wait for it to inducement and wait for pullback mitigation and then we can buy or sell that's it okay now let's switch on the next one is here this is our next one diagram is here in this case this is our py mitigation but this one is a not sweep here okay let me show you exactly in a 4 hour time then you can understand the correct because press tap on it if press tap on it and create here any sweep so this become a valid buy so this was area at this point we can see press broken and close so this is a not 
interested here for the buy as per this but pressed upon this extreme py in this case we can buy here after chalk and a flip and module as we right so this is a regular entry setup here but this is not sweep entry but press at this point let's check here what happened here in this case switch in a 15 minute time frame so this was our high time frame py which was tap here and in this case so simply we are looking for the buy after chalk and a flip like this one this is our supply and tap here give reaction and fail and make this one this is a sweep here so we can directly buy here at this point like this one but as per the sweep this is an odd sweep entry module this is a flip entry module as per the plan and if you don't know how flip entry module work i already make a video on it so you can watch them i already have okay so what happened here after this one this one is our previous low is here and after sweep the previous low what are you taking simply we are looking for the buy after sweep the previous high is here and once market sweep this one we can see a price close of it. If close of it, so we are interested here for the buy, right? But where is the stop loss? You need to put the stop loss just right here. Because this is our actual low. Because market can be pushed down side to take out this one. That's why we are not putting the stop loss just below it. If you are putting the stop loss just below it, sometime it hit, sometime it doesn't. Okay? So, I will suggest you to put the stop loss just below it. Either if you would like to reduce our stop loss, then you have to wait for it to take out the ID span then you can buy okay so this is our entry and this is our target and you can get a 3 rr and after that what happened here market taken out the investment right here once market taken out the investment either pressed upon unimediate order flow and order flow so we can buy here direct okay this is our buy setup at this point right here and once market tap here we can also buy here put the stop loss just below it and where is target target the previous high and also if you are interested for the buy so break this one and this don't grab the liquidity so we can mark them as a py so we are interested for the buy at this point right okay so if you are willing to buy in this case right here because just load this one is only mitigate here in terms of the order flow so we can buy here but put the stop loss just blow it and where is target target the previous high this one. okay now let's switch on a next one is here in this case we can see here there is any unmitigated or like structure or the chalk here this one is here we can see this is our real chalk here and if you are thinking this one is a chalk no this is a not chalk because this is a not let pullback here if you don't know how to mark the valid pullback i already make a video on it so you can watch them which will help you a lot to understand that how a valid pullback is a work okay so this one is a not a valid pullback this one is a valid pullback so once market break this one definitely we are in for the buy because market grab the liquidity market not create here any kind of setup and market push down side market again sweep this one and create here this one as a chalk so once market create chalk here so we are interested here for the buy as you know this is our area when we are interested for the buy at this point if you are buying here then where is our stop loss the stop loss because we are not buying after taking out thing this is our area and you can get almost to our right so this is our two hour setup here and again what happened here this one market push higher and push down side and this is our previous high again sweep here so once market sweep this one again what are you looking here as per our chalk you can sell here this one is a chalk create here so if price create here chalk so there is no sense to sell here simply you can sell after taking out the inducement so where is inducement right here and once market taken out the inducement and push downside but market not push downside and market mitigate the extreme order block is here so once market type on extreme and react on it so still market is a base because market raising between the high so if market raising between the high low simply you have to wait for it otherwise if market sweep this one again so we are also interested here for the sell press tap on it break the high create chalk and we are interested for the sell right here taken out the inducement look at this one chalk previous highs are broken taken out the inducement and we are interested here for the sell and put the stop loss just of this right no put the stop loss just of the high because this is our actual high which taken out the liquid and target the previous low is our target which is right okay almost you will get 3 hour so this is a very simple process when market sweep the higher time frame and you need to switch in a lower time frame and this is applicable for all time frame even you are trading in a 15 minute and 5 minute 1 hour 15 minute and 4 hour anywhere right simply you need to use a time frame as per your plan like if you are using 15 minute then you can use 1 minute 2 minute as a lower time frame and for 2 minute why i'm saying because minute keeps more better clear confirmation 
in a one minute sometime market create some noisy press so you need to avoid them in a 15 minute so you can use 15 minute and 2 minute time frame and 5 minute and 1 minute time frame you can use and if you are using 1 hour as a high time frame then you can use 5 minute as a lower time frame. if you are using 4 hour as a high time frame then you can use 15 minute as a lower time frame so i hope you learn a lot of new thing and something you will get a new idea about it that how things actually working and how higher time frame sweep and t module work and how we can get a lot of multiple opportunity when market momentum is a bullish and bearish doesn't matter but simply you need to pay attention create a structure and wait for lower time frame confirmation in this entry tab you will not get a like 10 hour 20 hour no you will get a very realistic target stop loss i'm very sure these type of things will help you a lot to level up trading skill so thank you so much everyone to watching the entire video if you are new subscribe our youtube channel and so on our free telegram channel link in description go and check out and i will see you on next video happy trading